Hello guys and welcome back. You know, every single day I get comments asking me to review more Made in the USA products. Or the flip side of that, which is people who are bashing other products for not being made in the USA. One of the, a great example of that is Carhartt. They make about 10 to 12% of their products in the USA. A lot of it's made overseas. Now, here's the thing. I understand being proud of your country, uh, but I also understand the supply chain. Unfortunately, there's just not enough people who sew things here. There's not enough stuff being made on American soil to support a behemoth like Carhartt. However, smaller brands can get away with it. And today I have a product for you which uses exclusively American components. So if you want to talk about made in the USA, look no further than the Origin boot. Now, Origin Maine has been around for a long time, and outside of the jiu-jitsu community, they weren't relatively well known. I didn't know about them until actually a viewer reached out and said, hey, you want to check these guys out? They're making some really great stuff. And somebody else commented too, so I started saying, I should probably get off my ass and check them out, and I did. The great thing about them, not only are they making things in the USA, but it's the way they go about it. So this boot here, it looks like nothing else. As you may know, I review a lot of boots on this channel, so it takes a lot to surprise me. I feel like I have a pretty good experience with a cross-section of the industry. These were something completely new. There, there really weren't, it's not a, a modern interpretation of an old boot. There are design elements in this boot which I haven't seen anywhere else. It's pretty clear that this was not designed by an old-fashioned boot guy. Plus, Origin Maine is like the paragon of gritty New England resourcefulness. They've taken on the painstaking task of creating 100% domestically made products, which is, uh, first of all, I mean, how do you even begin? Well, I'll tell you where they began, with these, the American Bison. The American Bison leather is tanned in Maine, about 45 minutes away from the Origin factory. They have American-made brass eyelets. They use a pour-on midsole from Massachusetts. And of course, you have your choice of about eight different outsoles. Now, these boots, they're kind of a mutt. You know, they're not a 100% work boot. They're not a 100% athletic boot, if there is such a thing. They're not a hiker, specifically. They're somewhere in between. There's elements of each of these in these boots, which is amazing. But think about this too. Have you ever seen a boot with that heel counter swoop on it? Or take a look at this back pull tab. See the way that this contours out? I mean, there are things that are done here that I have never seen before. How about that complete lack of a heel? So many people give me a hard time about the heels on some of these Northwestern boots that I review. There you go. There is absolutely no, there's no heel on that at all. So. When it comes to boots, this is a brand new take on it. It's nice to have a fresh perspective. Now, along with that swoop of the heel counter and the shape of the back stay, I really like what they did with the toe on these. They went for a little bit more of a bulbous toe, giving the silhouette a just a bit more testosterone. The bison leather almost seems secondary to the form, but it deserves some serious consideration as well. Beautifully textured with a wild grain and variation which can only be found in bison. It's a tough, greasy hide which is unique to each animal. So this means that if you're someone who's fanatical about uniform leather, this is not the boot for you. This hide is practically bursting with character and depth. In the world of leathers, it's the punk rock. Now I mentioned those eight sole options before, and I went with this ripple sole. Really honestly, for the, the reason is that I've never tried one before and I wanted to try one out. This is a Vibram sole, and they also have a Christie wedge and a couple of other options, which may be a little bit more familiar to, but I really wanted to try this out. And they actually offer this in a couple different colors. You can get it in green and black, and I think in tan, but here's the thing with these. They're super, super aggressive, as you can see. And uh, they almost look like a sand rail tire or something like that. And they are extremely grippy in one direction. You know, it's not that you're going to stop, uh, you know, if you're running and you're going to slide to a stop or anything like that. But I did notice that walking on slush and ice and stuff like that, this way, they're, they're fine. When you try to, when you kind of slide sideways or if you're trying to traverse some uneven terrain, you tend to slide just a little bit. Um, that's because there are absolutely no channels here or anything like that. Now, these, again, um, I got them because I've never tried them before. I think that they're going to be great hiking, uh, walking on dirt and muddy trails and stuff like that. Honestly, I haven't really had an issue yet. You're going to slide on ice no matter what unless you have studs in your, your soles. 
but these are pretty neat. And the interesting thing too is that even back in here where there's usually a solid chunk um, of, of a heel underneath your heel, these are a little bit more forgiving. So they actually wear a lot more like an athletic shoe than a boot. It's pretty cool, very, very different and very comfortable. Comfort is subjective since everyone's feet are just a little bit different. So I never use it as a metric in gauging the quality of a boot. And as I mentioned, these boots actually feel a lot more like athletic shoes than hardcore work boots. And a lot of this has to do with not only that heel that I mentioned, but also the pour on insole, which so most people will find extremely comfortable from the start. The boots are also pretty lightweight, which along with the complete lack of a heel stack, make them feel very nimble. The price for the American Bison boot is $360, mostly due to that leather. So if you like the boot, but you don't quite like the leather, well, you're in luck because you can save quite a bit of money and get the cheaper versions in several different leathers. These options actually knock the price down to about $230, which is a bargain for these boots, if this is what you're after. And let's talk about who these boots are for, because I think the fact that they balance so many different things means that, you know, they're not particularly great at one of them. They're not a hardcore work boot. These, I would not wear these on the job site. Number one, they're too nice. I wouldn't want to get them all ruined. But secondly, they don't have the safety aspects. There's not a steel toe or a composite toe or any of that kind of stuff on there. So they're not a, a hardcore work boot. Okay. They're not quite a hiking boot. A lot of hiking boots will have a padded upper. They'll have a lot of different textiles in there to manage locking the laces down and letting your foot breathe. So they're not quite a hardcore hiker and they're not an athletic shoe either. I think that's pretty damn clear. But let's face it, most of us throughout our day probably do an element of all of those different things, right? So when I get up, it, I might go out and I might work in the garage or around the house, or maybe I'll go down to the shop and you know help the guys in the warehouse. I'll do something like that. Maybe I'll go for a hike or maybe I'll just have to go off-roading <laughs> in, in one sense of the term. And then maybe I'll be running around with the kids later on. Now, as I mentioned in almost all of my videos, my favorite boots are the ones that get out of the way of my lifestyle. They allow me to live the way that I want to live and they don't get in the way. So if you're wearing a very nice dress boot, which is all polished up, well, you got to take those off before you go and work or before you hop on the motorcycle or before you go on a hike. Or if you're wearing hardcore work boots, they're not going to really look that great. They may look quite out of place, especially if they're all mudded up if you're going to dinner with your wife. So these boots, in a lot of ways, are excellent at being most of those things. They're like a well-rounded individual. They're great at a lot of different things. They're not particularly great at one of those, but they're good at a bunch of them. So uh, I think, honestly, guys, for what this boot is... If you're looking for a good looking and very unique casual boot, then this is this this is a home run, an absolute home run. Let me know if you want to know more about Origin Maine, because I was actually invited to go up there and maybe take a little tour of the, the factory, see what they're up to, interview the owner, and do a lot of interesting things. But I want to do it only if you're interested. So please let me know in the comments below not only your thoughts about these boots, but if you'd like to see that kind of content in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And going into 2020, we have a lot of exciting things coming up. Thanks so much.